The huge vortices of energy created by our technologies present us with unfathomable consequences. Put a decent man in an airplane a few hundred feet above a village, and he will kill without compunction, inflict appalling pain and injury on men, women, and children. That bomber pilot is really very much like the person introducing any new technology. None of these people ever consider what will be the impact or the effect of what they do when they pull that trigger. We cannot trust our instincts or our natural physical responses to new things. They will destroy us. How are we to get out of the maelstrom created by your own ingenuity? Edgar Allan Poe has a story called The Descent into the Maelstrom. Poe imagines the situation in which a sailor who has grown up on When I was young, I fished with my brother out beyond the vortex of the maelstrom. We had great luck in those cross currents until the day the sky let loose a furious tempest. The heaving sea swallowed my brother. And I was swept into the chaos of the maelstrom. I could only await my eventual plunge into the abyss. With all hope lost, I found myself idly studying the action of the vortex. Some objects did not fall, but were whirled up to the level of the sea. There it lay my salvation. I tied myself to an old steamer trunk and I abandoned my doomed ship. Thus did I free myself from oblivion. The huge vortices of energy created by our media present us with similar possibilities of evasion, of consequences, of destruction. By studying the pattern of the effects of this huge vortex of energy that, in which we're involved, it may be possible to program a strategy of evasion and survival. He said, the laws of media, they come in hope, but they only work as questions. What will you gain? What will you lose? What will return from an ancient time? And what will come of this thing you create if you let it go too far? There's no order to the laws of media. All these effects are happening all the time. The trick is to recognize the pattern before it is complete. Kierkegaard is a man of great relevance for this time. Man of the inner trip, the inner dialogue, the inner encounter. He has 
a wonderful quote. Life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards.